these sprats. They smell horrible, but she loves them. going to get a bath today. We have a step that I do beforehand because she has a skin condition which is called sebaceous adenitis which means that she has patches on her body um, which don't which don't produce uh, enough oil so the hair follicles start to fall out but she only has it on the top of her head and on her tail. So I'm going to show you what treatment I use for that. Um, we find that it works quite well. People that have dogs with this condition use medication, but I wanted to avoid that as best I could. And this is what we do instead, and it does hold it at bay. So this is what I use. Just organic uh, virgin coconut oil. And it works just by replacing some of the moisture back into her skin. So I'm just gonna take some and just melt it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and then I'm going to put it on her skin work it in and then let her let that soak in for an hour or two uh, sometimes they call it an oil bath for about an hour or two. I'm gonna keep her in the bathroom just because it makes a mess everywhere otherwise. I'm just gonna grab the brushes and give her a brush through, um, avoiding her head and her tail for the time being before she has her bath. Isn't that fine? Can you taste it? So she's just gonna chill out here for a little while. We'll give her a brush through and then she'll be ready to go in the bath. So I'm going to start off by using this shampoo first. It is designed for white dogs. It's okay, I think I like it the best because it, it lathers up quite a lot. You don't have to use that much. And I find that because she's a double coated breed, it takes a lot to get the shampoo into her coat properly. So I use this first. Um, to make sure that she's clean and she's properly damp all the way through. And then I'm gonna follow it up with this. Again, it's designed for white dogs. I don't use this every time because it is purple. And I think because she's getting older, her coat is a little more dry. So it, it can absorb some of that color if you don't rinse it out properly, if you use it too often. So because of that, I have used, I've used it once, Again, it was from Pets at Home. I don't know if this is the best thing to use, but it is just a conditioner to run through her coat afterwards. Um, because like I say, she she is a little bit older and I tend to find that here, it's a little bit more dry. oil soak and I've got changed and I've just put a cost uh, swimming costume on um, because I'm gonna get wet. Are you ready? 
I've got some of these sprats. They smell horrible, but she loves them. She may look a little bit sad when she has her bath. It's not her favorite thing in the world. I tend to find that you get two types of Samoyed, those that love water and those that don't. Uh, Luna is not a fan. So I've got some of these little sweeteners just to make it a little bit more enjoyable for her. Haven't we? Good girl. You ready? stored in her feet. Can I have the other one? That's it. Good girl. This one? This one? Good girl. That's it. That's it. Okay. She'll be much happier once she jumps out. Come on, you lean. That's a game changer, isn't it? When you have a samoyed, I think the three most important things is to first make sure that they're brushed. The second thing is to make sure you are there fully rinsed. And the third thing is to make sure that they are dry all the way through to prevent the hot spots. Um, if you try and use a regular hair dryer, it takes, it takes forever and I think it's a bit too hot. So it's best to have a pet hair dryer. This one is really old. Um, I'm sure there are uh, better ones. It works just fine for us. So I've just stopped 
because I wanted to give her a break. She's been, I've been drying her for about half an hour and she she just wants a little break. She's she had she's had enough. So I just let her out. It gives me a chance to regroup and tidy up here, but in here because it's just soaked. But the uh, the Karcher, Karcher window cleaner um, is really good for getting the water up off the floor. But I did just want to stop and say that um, normally I would dry her on the grooming table outside, but it's December and I don't want her to get cold while she's wet. Also, if it is the summer, don't clean your dog and then let them outside if you've just cut the grass. I've done that before and she rubs her head all on the floor and she ends up green. Um, <laughs> it lasts for ages, so that's just a little thing that I try to avoid doing is cut the grass before or wait until she's had a bath and then cut the grass. Did she? Yeah. 